and welcome back. Everyone in Hopin, come on back. It's 10, oh, 11 CET, so we are ready for the next slot. And people on site are already gathering. That's very nice to see after the, all of the, all of the uh, online uh, conferences before. So this time, this slot is Property in Surf Tech and Travel. So let us welcome our judges today. Piotr Grabowski from Hub Hub, uh, Sabina Babayeva from Headquarters, and Seem Teller from Lemonade Stand. Hello, guys. It's so nice to see you. So maybe let's switch right to the first startup. Drive Great and Andre Radoy is already very, very representing the name of the startup in the car. You have three minutes. Take it away. Hello. We are Drive Great. We want to set the standard in evaluating driving behavior and capture a big part of the 18.27 million usage-based insurance market. The growing number of accidents and high repair costs make the insurance company struggle with increasing loss ratios that eat from the profitability of their gross return premiums. This leaves no room for rewarding responsible drivers who rarely produce any accidents. Usage-based insurance is set to change this. DriveGrade will connect you with tailored rewards from insurance companies or collaborators. Our solution starts with a simple mobile app, proving the concept of grading your driving behavior, as you can see in our short movie. Our planned mobile app is set to do much more, and it is just the first component of our ecosystem, working as a vital data collection tool. You can see here the other major components of the DriveGrade ecosystem a fleet manager, a campaign manager, enabling real-time advertising, and a reporting central. Financial models made for insurance companies shows DriveGrade will bring 20% reduction in loss ratio, as well as reduce SGNA by enabling new digital sales channels. All these have been validated on our journey that started back in 2020. Since then, we have collaborated with an important car fleet, an insurance company, and a digital studio. And most importantly, we obtained validation from the European Union through the EIC Accelerator program, as well as our recent partnership with Grai Studio. Usage-based insurance market is set to reach a value of more than $18.27 million just on the smartphone app segment. We plan to capture a segment of that. Top three ways come from direct users, insurance companies, and retailer marketing commissions, as well as many other revenue sources unlocked from the value chain DriveGrade will create. We plan to reach 100K users in three years, generating more than 1 million in revenue. Our scalable model is set to produce over 10 million euros per month only from B2C subscriptions aimed at cars not older than 10 years. We plan to work with ecosystem stakeholders and complement their services by opening data based on event-triggered driver consent. Our roadmap will enable new technologies such as blockchain and AI, helping us generate more revenue. I'm Andrei Radoy, and I used my 13 years of experience in various roles in IBM, my 26 years of passion for the car industry, as well as my strong connections in the marketing and advertising industry to build DriveGrade's view at the future of insurance. With me is Vladimir Nusem with over 20 years of hands-on experience in leading IT roles for insurance companies. We need a strategic investment of 200K for 10% equity to finance product development, marketing, and operations, and together capture a part of the $18.27 million usage-based insurance market. If you're interested, email me now. Thank you. Okay, perfect timing. We can go right into the Q&A, so judges, uh, we have four minutes. Uh, anyone wants to start? I would love to start. Oh, okay. Sabina. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much, Andre, for the presentation. I just wonder, uh, what, what about the traction? Uh, do you have the clients already? What about the users? Any traction that you are uh, following up so far? Yeah, so so we, uh, as I've said, we currently have an MVP that it's currently uh, setting the placeholder on the app stores in Romania. Uh, we have collaborated with a local insurance company validating the product market fit, uh, as well as this partnership with Gry Studio. And this is why we need money to actually launch the fully commercial ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, while collaborating with these B2B partners, I mean, like, uh, what's, what's the number of users so far, or maybe so, piece so, of data that you have processed? So for so the moment, we, we only have the MVP with around 40 users. 
Uh, mm -hmm. But after we will start uh, and the partnerships will activate commercially speaking, uh, that's when we plan to start uh, setting the traction in the market. Yeah, but the product, it's, uh, it's validated in the market. Thank you, Andrei. Thank you. So, okay, I think Piotr. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hi, Andrei. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, please tell me... Uh, What's your take currently? Is it just you and your co-founder? Do you have any experience in the insurance area? Because, you know, it's a pretty regulated industry. And yeah. Do you so, have any so my, field? Yeah, correct. My co-founder has worked uh, various years in the insurance industry. He has actually led a lot of uh, warehousing systems and core insurance uh, projects uh, for major uh, insurance companies locally. And this is why we've uh, cooperated. And uh, furthermore, uh, we've extended our uh, collaboration with the local insurance company, uh, like a soft commitment, let's say. Um, and uh, we've also partnership with this uh, studio to help us, uh, you, know, you know, with hiring and um, uh, eventually setting the, the grounds. So, so what, uh, competencies also... are you, what competencies are you kind of missing in the team? Who, who you need to hire after you get funding? So basically, uh, we would need um, more developers. Uh, the MVP has been subcontracted to a digital studio uh, because it's the more efficient way to actually uh, use money. Um, and basically, we want to also build the capabilities then to, to move them in-house. Yeah. Okay. And we've also applied for, uh, for EU funding for 8.5 million uh, euros in order to have the money to actually hire a team of 25 people. Okay. And this you. is where we got our validation from EIC. Sam? I have, I have a question about the product. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. You started with the driving behavior, but then, then you ended up with that. ads and, and uh, this partner ecosystem. So what exactly are you building today and what will you be building in, in a year's or two years' time? Yeah, so uh, we currently plan to, to start from grading the driving behavior to release an app that collects points. And then uh, with our collaborators and insurance companies, we plan to offer discounts uh, to, the, um, to, to the mandatory insurance, uh, as well as uh, build on the verge of the campaign manager, actually real-time advertising, because you would basically, with the campaign manager, be able to access the whole number of users uh, from the app. So if we have 10,000 users, for example, I would just do a select and start a campaign, enable push notification, and only then, for example, exchange um, user uh, user data based on his consent. So there's a lot of a, a lot of areas it can it can uh, spin out, but the main uh, the main revenue sources are um, drivers uh, from from the um, annual fee, uh, insurance companies from brokerage fees, and uh, this uh, real time uh, fees commissions. For the okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. If there's going to be more questions, of course, hop in and matchmaking platform will be the best way to reach Andre. But for now, four minutes are up. Thank you so much. And let's welcome on stage the second Thank startup. Thank you. Uh, the second startup, uh, Jay Haley, Martin 